Welcome to The Real Deal with Jason Silverman, the podcast dedicated to helping you build the business of your dreams and live the life you always hoped for with valuable and fun tips and info to make your life easier and more fun. And now, here's your host, a man who sprinkles metal shavings on his breakfast cereal just for fun, Jason Silverman. And welcome to The Real Deal with Jason Silverman. I'm your host, Jason Silverman, and I'm thrilled to share some time with you once again today. As you know, I'm always on the hunt for interesting as well as super smart Real Deal guests. And I got to tell you, I'm super stoked for today's show. I want to introduce my listeners to somebody who's truly been there and done that. And quite honestly and selfishly, I'm excited to pick her brain today, really, so that I can get up to speed. And you know, a huge benefit of that is as you're listening in, you're going to get up to speed as well. Now, for the folks who I work with in any of my coaching programs or through Powerful Words Character Development, All-Star Cheer Sites, or the Jason's Army Mastermind Group, you know how much I focus on effective social media marketing, right? Well, the show is going to help us to fill in on something that I don't necessarily believe all of us are doing well. I know personally, um, I'm kind of behind the times on this and, and I want to catch up. So hopefully you'll join me on that journey. So today it's going to be my honor and privilege to share an amazing resource with you. You're going to love today's guest. She's got a ton of valuable information about what I consider to be probably one of the most important social media vehicles out there. So strap yourself in. Today's show is going to be a blast. As I'm sure you already know, I'm committed to helping business owners just like you to become more successful, enjoy your career more, and in general, make your life significantly more fun. We only get one ride around this merry-go-round, right folks? Let's make sure it's one hell of a ride. Alrighty, boys and girls, it is now that time. I want you to stop surfing Facebook, put away your phone, your tablet, your dog, your cat, your spouse, your, your child, anything that might possibly, possibly steal your attention. You're about to get some great and immediately implementable information, and I don't want you to miss even a second of it. So before we officially get going, let me do this. Let me give you a little bit of background about our special guest expert today. Sue Zimmerman, or Sue B, is the Instagram expert, creator of the online Instagram course Ready, Set, Graham. She's a popular creative live instructor, a powerful speaker on prominent stages like social media marketing world, and highly sought after business coach. She's passionate about teaching business owners and marketing professionals how to easily leverage the power of Instagram to get tangible business results. As a serial entrepreneur, Subi has 30 years of business experience, including Subi Doe, Boxer Rebellion, and Subi Zimmerman Enterprise. With her extensive knowledge of social media, it's Subi's mission to teach, mentor, and empower others to be highly successful entrepreneurs. Sue, welcome to The Real Deal. I'm thrilled to have you today. Hey, it's great to be here. And you said a couple of things that made me smile. You <laughs> you started it with fun. You said the word merry-go-round. I'm like so on there with you. And you said the word smart. So yeah, wicked smart. Because this you're talking to a Boston East Coast gal over here. <laughs> oh, dear. oh dear. Yeah. You know yeah. what? I, I I will say I miss the um I miss the accent. <laughs> I really do okay, miss the good. accent. I'll bring, I'll bring it. I'll deliver it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I believe we're in Southie today, all right? So okay. before we get started, you know, for those who haven't had the opportunity and pleasure of either meeting you or taking your courses or hearing you speak, um, do me a favor. Share your story with our listeners. What are you passionate about? What makes you tick? Who is Sue B? Yeah, so, you know, I, I'm most passionate these days to be helping other business owners and entrepreneurs really understand the power of visual storytelling because it can be your micro content that does not overwhelm you so that you literally get eyeballs on your business, your products, your brands, your services so that you can make more money doing what you love. And that this place where I am now has really evolved over my life because I have been a true entrepreneur my whole life, ever since I was 13. I've had 18 businesses, Jason. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> and I, I evolved and, and morphed and changed depending on where I was in my life. And I just have always been able to figure things out. So I'm really excited to talk to your listeners about Instagram and the power of Instagram and how I really, as you said, discovered it from my retail shop on Cape Cod at Subidoo. So Subidoo 
um, was a store I had for six years on Cape Cod in Massachusetts. And I was like everyone else, small business owners trying to get more business, especially in the door at my store. And I was on Foursquare and Twitter and Facebook. In fact, I taught social media for eight years when I didn't run my seasonal store. And when I started using Instagram. And the reason I started using Instagram is because I have teenage twin daughters or they were teenagers at the time. And they were just like scrolling on their phone and not looking at mom when I was talking to them. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? And they're like, okay, mom, we're on Instagram. Don't get on Instagram because we know you're going to start teaching it. (laughs) And so it's like your kids, like it's like their worst nightmare, right? The mother, you know, your parents starts teaching what you think is the cool thing. So I like challenge taken. I started using it. I brought it into my store. I had my seven employees use it and my sales at my store grew 40% in one summer. And that's when I had the Malcolm Gladwell light bulb moment. I need to be teaching this to other business owners because maybe Making money does not have to be so hard, especially when you can do it in this little fun app called Instagram. Ooh, I love that. Well, you know what? Let's do this. I, I want to dive in because, you know, I've got my pad of paper. <laughs> I'm ready to go for my own personal and selfish um, learning endeavor. So what would you say, um, you know, from a purely from an experiential perspective, what, what would you say are your top Instagram tips that, that business owners can implement today? Yeah. So let's start with mindset because I think it's so important. A lot of people like scroll on Instagram and they see all these people that are so famous or Instagram famous and they see what they're doing and they're like, OMG, I need to do that because that person's getting all the likes and all the followers and all that stuff. So let's put that aside for a while, for, for a little bit and let's talk about mindset. And honestly, an Instagram mindset, in my opinion, is one where you essentially deliver a digital magazine. So Jason, for example, when you go and buy a magazine like Success Magazine or Oprah or, you know, Times or whatever it is that you're buying, you buy that magazine because you know what to expect when you flip through the magazine, looking at either the visuals, meaning the people that advertise in it or the content. And so when you think of Instagram as your digital magazine and you stay very hyper-focused in your greatness and you stay in your lane and you only share content that you want to be known for and that is it if you're here for business, then you will have great success. And then obviously there's a lot of tactics that we're going to talk about that you need to do to have that success. But number one is the mindset that this is your magazine. You publish it every day. You get to choose what you put in your magazine and you get to choose which magazines to follow. And if those magazines that you're following aren't giving you value, value, you unfollow them because you only want to see in your news feed when you press that home button, the house on the bottom left, you only want to see content that educates you, inspires you, or, you know, makes you laugh or just entertains you in some way so that you experience Instagram as it's meant to be experienced in a way that really, you know, jargs your creative mind every day. And I say this because when I travel and I travel and speak a lot and I'm at the airport and I'm, I'm looking at what people's mobile habits are. I'm extremely observant with my visual surroundings. I will say that probably eight out of 10 people are on Instagram and they're on Instagram because it is a fun platform. There are no distractions with notifications and ads popping up like on Instagram. And it's clean and no one's asking you to like play a game or do random stuff. It's like you choose what you want to see. And I think that that has so much to do with the reason it is such a powerful tool and that there's now over 500 million monthly active users. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I didn't realize the scope had had grown that quickly. Oh, yeah. When I started teaching those 140 million, this was almost five years ago. They pro- they project a billion in two more years. So if you're not here for business, you are missing out in a big opportunity, especially now that there are business profiles, there's Instagram stories, and we can go into all those features if you want to as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's do this, though. Um, 
I, I want to talk about the probably the, the obvious question that everybody's got, or at least I know I've got. Um, would you say that there are some key strategies that folks can use to attract more clients? Absolutely. So we talked about the magazine and that's the mindset. Let's talk about what you need to do to set yourself up for success for business. So I'm going to go through seven key points that you need to have in place in your bio before you start even posting. So if you're just getting on Instagram, put your account on private. You can tap into the gear on the top right and put it, put it on private until you have nine good posts up. And I always teach this to my clients and, you know, people that start working with me and they just don't know where to start. Like, let's get your foundation set. And that foundation is your bio. So you want to have a good username, one that obviously is matching up to your business, preferably your Twitter handle. If you're consistent everywhere, like I am, I had to throw in the B. I am Sue B. Zimmerman everywhere. But Make sure that your name is, is one that matches up to your business. And if you can't get your, your name because you're late to the Instagram party, then you can use an underscore. You can use dot com. You can say the word podcast after your name if that's what you do or coach. So there's all kinds of workarounds that I teach in my course. But for now, make sure you get that great username in your bio where you also can put your username. It does not literally have to be the same username that is the, the account name, you have 33 characters there and emojis are searchable in this space as well as words. So if you look at the Instagram expert, because that one is my business account, you will see that in my bio. And I know that you guys are like, ho- like so focused on what I'm saying and you're not like doing anything else. Right. So look at your Instagram you know, like, like follow this account, the Instagram expert and look at my bio. And in the bio, it says Instagram marketing with Sue B. Now I want to tell you why it says Sue B with the emoji B. Well, first of all, I am Sue B and I have branded Sue B everywhere. And when anyone introduces me, I always say, make sure you say the B because that's part of my branding, part of my business name. And also I use the emoji B frequently when I'm commenting and it's become part of my visual, um, stay top of mind. Like that's the emoji that Sue uses in addition to like my anchor, my nautical anchor anchor. So the B is searchable. If you were to tap into the explore tab, the bottom uh, second from the left and you put in a B to explore people, I will come up. So if, uh, if any of the emojis match up to your business or industry, like say you teach yoga putting, you know, the emoji with the hands together, namaste, like that should be in your username in your bio. Also notice that I use the word Instagram marketing. Those words are searchable. If you search the word marketing or you search the word Instagram, I come up in the search on Instagram. So there is some SEO in the bio and that is where it is. So choose those 33 words careful, very carefully. Also, you have the actual bio. This is where you share exactly who you are, what you do, anything quirky about your personality or your behavior or something fun about you or a statement. So for me, the most important statement I have on mine is teaching business owners Instagram marketing daily. I am teaching daily tips, whether it's here on Instagram, on Periscope, on Facebook Live, on Twitter, the word daily, I eat, breathe, and live Instagram marketing. So that is what I have here. And then you want to have a good call to action. So I have an arrow, having the emoji arrow pointing down. Click in to learn more. I purposely had those be all caps so that it would stand out. And then I take you into what this is great gallery metrics is a link. So this is a bitly link that you click into, but when you go here, what's really cool is that you get to see all of my posts that actually have links that take you to my blog. So gallerymetrics.com, I have, I'm not an affiliate for them. I just love this tool and they've gifted it to me to use. And this is where you can click on any one of my photos because often people are like, 
darn it. Like I'm telling people to go to the blog. The link is in my bio. And then you do two posts later and it's not the same link and you got to change out the text and all this back and forth, not with gallery metrics. You can keep your visuals and keep the blog posts. So if you were to tap into any of those posts, which are all my blog posts. Now, the reason I want to drive traffic to my blog post frequently on Instagram is because we can retarget with Facebook ads and I heard Jason say that he's bringing in experts all the time. I'm sure that he brought on someone or will bring on someone that talks about Facebook ads, but that is my goal. My goal is never to sell on Instagram. It is always to build value, to give value and build relationships. And frequently that post that you'll see in gallery metrics takes you to my Instagram strategy guide, which is my opt-in. So we're either driving traffic to my opt-in to grow my email list my blog post that gives a hashtag shit ton of value. And yep, that's my favorite hashtag. (laughs) Or it's taking you to a webinar that we're doing. So those are the three places that we drive traffic to. I will let you all know that we get 250 on average opt-ins a week from Instagram. Crazy. That's a thousand. Free opt-ins from Instagram. Do we run ads? Absolutely, but we don't run, we run ads when we're in the middle of a campaign. We don't run ads. Um, and sometimes we run ads to grow our email list, but this is just from our links in our bio because I'm so actively giving great content on a regular basis. So content on Instagram, you know, is what you're posting and your Instagram stories. So let's just review this. It's your, Username, number one, it's the name in your bio, number two, it's your bio itself. You have 150 characters to write a really compelling bio. Number four, it's your call to action and having a really good call to action that drives traffic. Number six is to your clickable link. Number seven is having a fabulous avatar photo, one that stands out one that doesn't look like it's cropped from a wedding or a bar mitzvah. (laughs) Like seriously, let's like get with the program. If you're here for business, make it fabulous. So I purposely did a little uh, filter on mine that made it look and feel like the Instagram logo. So, so that's the whole bio thing. Jason, do you have any questions with that? I don't. It's fabulous. Okay. So this account, as you can see, the Instagram expert, I have, this is a business account and you know that this is a business account because it says contact. Also, you know, it's a business account when you see the bars next to your name. So if you were to click the contact button, this is so amazing. You guys, if you click the contact button, you guys can either text me. Yeah. I give you the bat line to Sue B or you can email me and I have had people text me. And when they do, and I get on the phone with them. Oh, MG, they, they're a customer. They're a lifer. They're like, am I really talking to Sue from Instagram? And I find out what they need. I listen to their pain points. Most often they want a strategy session for an hour or they want my course or something. Or if they can't afford what I'm, what I'm offering, I always let them know that I have a free Facebook group called Instagram results for business that you all can request to join. I also tell them that I have an amazing YouTube video. You literally can watch me for four days nonstop. Subi Zimmerman YouTube. We can link those up in the show notes. And, and that's where I give free content. So I am always giving free content. And here's the beautiful thing. When you do what you love and you have fun doing it and it comes from your soul and your heart, you, and you're giving that content away. People always say, OMG, if this is all free, I cannot imagine what I'm going to get if I actually pay for something. And that's what you want. And so that's why I show up here every day doing what I do. That's the bio. Um, we talking, we're talking about, uh, business insights right now. I want to just bring all of your attention to the fact that when you click in to your insights, OMG, right into Instagram, this is relatively new. We recently wrote a blog post about business accounts on Instagram, business profiles, and we can link that up as well. I think we did it about a month ago. Um, today we're talking, it's uh, November, um, what date? November 10th. So um, when you click into the insights, you guys get to see your impressions. So I'm actually looking at my phone with my impressions. So I'm seeing that I have 46,204 impressions this week. And I'm also seeing that 
you know, you can, you can see more. So you see your impressions, you can see your top posts that you have from the last seven days. You can look at your followers and you can see what is the demographics of your followers? So 68% of my followers are women, 32% men. My, the age range for me is 25 to 44. Like that's smack dab where my followers are. So what does that mean? So when you're targeting your Instagram ads or your Facebook ads, you know what to focus on when you're trying to give interest or, or more demographics to what you're trying to attract. You also can look at your reach, your profile views, your website clicks, and your followers right from the back of Instagram. So it's really cool that all these insights are right here for you. This week I reached um, um, 10,000 people, almost 10,000. I got over 1,800 profile views and I got 234 website clicks. I'm up 124 or uh, 25 from last week. So Knowing these numbers right from Instagram and not having to go into the power editor and Facebook is all the reason that you want to switch to a business profile. Now, if you are not here for business and you just have a personal account, let me bring your attention to Subi Zimmerman. So this is me. You guys want to get to know, like, and trust me? Yeah, this is Subi. And if, if you look at my account, you get to see what I'm interested in, who I connect to. I'm here at Inbound where there's 18,000 marketers and I was on stage with Gary V taking selfies recently. And you'll see all that energy and all that fun and you'll meet my dog and be with me on the Cape and meet my kids and see where I go and what I do and who I hang out with. And so why is this good? Well, a personal account is really good, I think, because the more you know about the person that you want to do business with or attract, the more you can have like a real conversation about things that they're interested in or say you're going to get together with them and you want to bring them a little gift. Anyone listening and who knows me knows that I go to the dry bar to get a blowout like once or twice a week. So that shows up on my Instagram feed on a regular basis. So people send me wonderful gifts like Amy Porterfield sent me an amazing gift card because I was a partner for one of her launches and she knows from watching me on Instagram that I go to the blow dry, the, the, the dry bar. So these are, these are reasons to have a personal account, but if you don't have time to do both, you need to decide which one is the one you want to focus on and really go all in. And when you go all in with anything in your business, you have to shut down all the other shit. You have to shut down what you do not, what you're getting distracted from. Because if you're here to do Instagram to attract your followers and grow your email list and ultimately grow your business, you have to give it the attention and time and patience that it needs. So Jason, I would love to go into some of those tactics unless there's anything you want me to segue into. No, this is, this is, this is exactly what I was hoping for. So go keep, uh, keep going. Oh, good. I'm, I'm getting an A plus. I like it. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay. So on Instagram, I think what I want every one of you to hear from me in a bossy Boston kind of way is do not ever buy any tools that help you gamify Instagram. That means never buy followers, never use bots that like other people's posts and comment for you based on a hashtag that they've used. Don't hire anyone from India or China to go like photos. Like these are tactics that I'm like, who does this shit? Well, apparently a lot of people. And I tell you this because don't believe everything that you see on Instagram. That's why I'm telling you. And the only way to know if someone is truly authentic and real is to read the comments that people write under their post. That's it. And so that's what I strive for. Of course, I want more likes because likes get more eyeballs on my post and it helps with the algorithm. Absolutely. But what means the most to me is the, are the comments and the fact that you guys are enjoying and liking and learning from what I'm teaching. And so that is powerful. It's really powerful when people tag their friends to look at my post or reshare, repost my content. It's kind of like when you get a retweet on Twitter, on Instagram, you can repost someone's content to your feed that you think will give value to your followers. But here's what I want to say. 
the big, the, the successful accounts on Instagram have, remember I told you the mindset of a magazine? Mm. Well, the, the look and feel of a magazine, some theme, some vibe, some way that people are going to say, oh my God, that's definitely Sue's post. So let me give you some examples of accounts that are crushing it. So at the dry bar, I know the owner, Allie Webb. I interviewed her on Blab when Blab was a thing. She, I love her business, not only as a user, but I love her Instagram account because when you look at her Instagram account and you go into get a blow dry, I feel like I'm walking into their Instagram account. I literally feel the energy of everything that I experience in real, in real life. The same is true with Ryan Carter, another person that I had interviewed on Blab. He owns Camping with Dogs. Okay, how can you not love dogs and camping? And when you combine the two, his, his account is OMG crazy. And of course, to all of you that are healthy foodies, maybe vegans, I get it. I have to give a shout out to my daughter, Lila at Fresh Fit and Fearless. She does an amazing job as a 20 year old, um, with her Instagram account. She makes money selling her ebook, but she's curating content that is visually appealing in a theme that is always, uh, with a North Star photo. That's the n- rule number one is to have a great image or video. And it's in theme. So when you go to Lila's account, you, you get information about eating healthy and being vegan. And then you get a sense of her personality as a college student trying to inspire other college students to do the same. So these are three examples. Two big, you know, one big business and brand, one lifestyle brand, and then a 20 year old. And anyone can have great success on Instagram. You do not need to have a website when you start. In fact, my good friend, Jada Stelsner, not Selzner. I'm going to see Michael Stelzner later today. <laughs> Michael's going to be an inbound with me. I'm a little like my brain's a little mushy right now. So Jada Selzner, um, she is one of the co-founders of at simple green smoothies. And Jada was on my brand panel at social media marketing world. And she did not have a website when she started giving away her 21 day free download green smoothie. Da 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 da. So you don't need a website. That's another reason I love Instagram. You can test a business, a product, or a service to see if there's an interest. And like my daughter, Lila, who started on Instagram, she now has a YouTube channel and she now has a blog. She's she's growing a business based on what her followers really like. And so... That's, that's the key thing. You, you, you post, you get feedback, you get likes, you get engagement, and then you base, like based on that positive reinforcement, you know what to do next. Now, when you look at my Instagram expert account, it feels like the Instagram logo. Like the day Instagram changed the logo, I was like, I was so excited because all I could think about was, Oh my goodness, I have a new theme that I can use to post on Instagram based on the colors of the logo. And then more importantly, I'm like, now I get to go shopping and buy clothes in every, <laughs> every color of the logo. So if you look at all my outfits, guys, my outfits literally match up to the Instagram logo. So um, it's getting kind of expensive, but that's the life of the Instagram expert. And I get to like paint uh, fruit now, like I'm painting bananas and like I'm an artist at heart. Like that's one of my businesses. So, so if you scroll through my account, you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. The, the other account I want to bring your attention to for, to anyone who's here that has a team. If you look at, at SBZ team on Instagram, this is my team account that Morgan and Rachel Curate and Morgan's going to be interviewed on this podcast soon as well. And I'm really excited for you guys to hear from her, but they are, they are showing what it's like to be working in a small business and everything that we do to automate our sales funnels, our webinars and organize things, because I don't want people to think that I'm a one pony show here. Like my team is everything and I treat them as as equal, I do not make any decisions like big strategic decisions unless we all talk about it. So, so it's important for people to see the people that run my business, the girls that work with me every day who I madly respect and love. And I want business owners to know that this is not another opportunity in terms of a theme or a look or a feel to share on Instagram. What do you think of that, Jason? I love this. I love this. I'm, I'm actually like taking notes, um, to get to my assistant to, um, 
to actually create this uh, today. <laughs> yes, yeah, you're going to be like my hashtag action taker. I love it. Uh, so I could, you know, I've taught three creative live courses. I've taught two Instagram courses. They were three days long, eight hours a day. I can talk about Instagram all day long. So I want to, I want to continue driving this uh, interview the way you want me to go. But there's so much here. So tell me what else you'd like to hear. I guess, the, you know, I guess one one really important question would be. You know, as far as hashtags, um, can you give me, because I know we're, we're bumping up to times here, so um, can you give me kind of like the, the two-minute explanation of the importance and benefits sure. of hashtags? Sure. Let's do hashtags, and then let's do Instagram stories, because I think that's super important. Okay. So so first of all, let your listeners know, if you go to subizimmerman.com slash HH, we have a hashtag handbook. It's like twenty seven ninety nine or I don't even know, like twenty seven ninety eight. Um, it is literally a handbook with 35 industries of every hashtag that you should be using if you're in those industries. And they're all industries that we researched that are heavily on Instagram. But the general way to have success using hashtags is to not use the popular hashtags, is to find the niche hashtags, the ones that you'll actually have an opportunity to show up in the top nine of the hashtag hub. For example, I am here at Inbound, and I am using the hashtag Inbound16, and there have been over... Um, let's just, let's, I'm clicking over 4,000, almost 5,000 posts with this hashtag. And I've showed up in the hashtag hub, which is the top nine, at least three times. When I took my photo with Gary Vaynerchuk, I was at the very, very top. What does that mean? It means that when people are clicking into hashtags and looking at content, the ones that are in the top nine are there for various reasons. They are there because they got the, the most likes the fastest. I mean, there's all these algorithms. There was a lot of engagement. Um, they got comments. And so you stay at the top nine until someone kind of bumps you out of that. And so I was at the top nine with that hashtag. So this is a unique hashtag for an event. Every single event, there is a hashtag. You can use it. You can create your own custom hashtag like the dry bar has, the dry bar, or um, they have um, blow dry junkie, hashtag blow dry junkie, camping with dog, uses camping with dogs for user generated content. My daughter, Lila, has a, a slew of hashtags. She is, she knows exactly, she's a perfect example. She knows exactly what hashtags to use that will attract the people you want to attract on your Instagram account, who ultimately you want to have as customers. So if you, if you use random hashtags, you're going to get random results. I know for a fact, the top seven hashtags that I want to use to show up on Instagram are hashtags like Instagram marketing, Instagram for business, Instagram 101, Instagram tips, Instagram strategies. I know what they are, and I always use those seven. Ideally, seven to 12 is the number you want to use unless you're starting out. You want to use more, and you can use up to 30. You want to put them in your, you want to either have them in your notes and copy and paste them and immediately post them after you post because your hashtags go live the second you press post. So if you put your hashtags there later, you're not going to be able to get eyeballs on those hashtags if you're trying to get more people to discover you. Does that all make sense? Totally makes sense. Great. So anyone that wants more like deep dive hashtag information, and if you really want to know what hashtags to use for your business, that handbook will definitely help you. So I would love to talk about Instagram stories because I'm a frontier in everything I do. That's why I'm an entrepreneur. I see things before the world sees them. I used to sell Crocs and I used to help make those gibbets that go in the Crocs. And I used to be on QVC with a scrapbook business. So I know opportunities. And I want to tell you that Instagram stories, you can be a frontier. There are not a lot of people doing them well. Do not treat your Instagram story like Snapchat. No. Do not do it 
like Snapchat. You want to add value so you get more eyeballs to your actual Instagram account. Now, these dissolve uh, in 24 hours, so there's this whole fear of missing out. Today, um, I've actually crafted a really good story. I'm giving away one of my Instagram pillows. I'm telling you how you can win it, and if you, and then I'm actually telling people to comment on my story. The cool thing about Instagram stories is that you get to see the people who actually watch the story, and you get you can put them on a spreadsheet. Unfortunately, you can't download a CSV file yet, but who knows that might happen soon. But you can absolutely um, look at the people who are constantly liking your Instagram stories and um, connect with them further, go to their account and say, oh my goodness, George is always looking at my stories. Who is George? Let me go and look. And now I'm going to go over to George's story uh, and George and just give him some love and, you know, let him know that I, I appreciate that he has viewed my story. Now, I do not follow anyone just to be nice. I only follow accounts that really give me value, but I always go in and I always try to um, engage, especially with people who engage with me. So I, I spend so much time on Instagram that everything that is happening there, it's not any of my team members. It's me. I'm 100% doing all of the Instagram engagement. Um, so that is stories. Now you can get super, super creative with your stories. And recently I did an Instagram story class. It was, I mean, this is everything you need to learn about Instagram stories. It's under, it's, I, it's an, a little over an hour. Jason, I can give you the link to that. It's, um, subizimmerman.com slash stories with an S class for anyone who's like, Oh my God, what is she talking about? I don't even know anything about Instagram stories. I literally teach you about the filters, about the text, about the thousands of colors that you can match up to your brand. I show you, um, creative ways to do angles and everything you need to know. It's, this is a, a class that I taught as a webinar class, um, that did really, really well. So you guys might be interested in that. So I, I just want to share that, but I love Instagram stories. If you, if you do a clip that you want to save to camera roll and, tw- and share it on Twitter or share it on Facebook, you can do that just like you can in Snapchat In Snapchat. You can save your whole story on Instagram. You can just save a clip. Often I'll do a clip that's really, really good. And I'm so glad that I can save it because then I can tweet it. Or then, like I said, I can share it um, in an inst- on, on Facebook. So you can repurpose. You can repurpose your Instagram clips. Okay. Yes. Now, the other thing I did not say that I really want to say, we talked about the mindset, we talked about the magazine, we talked about the theme. I want to talk to you about the photo. I want to talk to you about how to have success. Do not post quotes on Instagram that have nothing to do with your business. Just because Seth Godin, um, Tony, Tony Robbins, uh, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk and all these illuminaries like Brene Brown, you know, Oprah have these great quotes. That is, is that what your audience wants to read? I post quotes on the Instagram expert every 12th photo. So I have a system. Every 12th photo is a quote, but it's always a quote that I would actually be saying that would be coming out of my mouth. That's a part of my personality or a part of my brand. So every 12th post on Instagram, there is a photo. Every eighth post, I do a black and white post. So I have a little system going so I know that I don't have to overthink things all the time. You heard me say it always looks and feels like the Instagram logo, so I know that I can do that as well. Uh, there's a great tool called Planoly, P-L-A-N-O-L-Y, where you can plan your Instagram feed and move photos around. You can also use Later if you're someone that likes to schedule your post. You can look at the preview app on Later. I just did a YouTube video about this. And you can preview the look of your feed so that you can, of your grid, people call it, so you make sure it all matches up from top to bottom, from right to left. Because here's the thing, you guys. People want to feel like they are with you on Instagram. It is not smile at the camera, look at my friends, post. People like, they don't like your eyes at the camera. You look down at devices, you look out, your hands in the photo, uh, follow bloggers, follow fashion people, look, actually, the people that I'm following on the Instagram experts 
are good people to follow because I'm only following 376 accounts and they're all really good. Um, but you essentially, you want to emotionally pull people in to what you're experiencing so they feel like they're with you. And that's why there's a lot of angles, bird eye, high to low, flat lays, um, you know, just like um, half body parts happen. There's a, a, a good example is there's a really good post with me and Sophia Amaruzo, one of my favorite uh, podcasts, girl boss. She's awesome. I love her Instagram account. And she's looking down at the hashtag sign that I gave her as a gift when I spoke at Entrepalooza. I'm not even looking at the camera. You can't even see my face. She's looking down at what I gave her and I'm handing her a book to sign. And that's the essence of Instagram. It's like emotionally pull people in so they feel like they're part of your world. And if you understand that and you understand not to post stupid, crappy, grainy photos or quotes that have nothing to do with your business and you think about a theme that will align with your products, your services, or your business, then you're you're off to a good start. And I know that this is so much information in a short time, and that's why I have a download for you that, that Jason's going to mention. Fabulous. Yeah. All right. Well, that actually is a perfect segue into our resource of the week. So tell me again, how can my listeners find out more about you and how you're basically changing the world with Instagram? Yeah. So subizimmerman.com slash guide will will give you everything you guys need. Let me talk about what you guys need to get going on Instagram for your business. It's my free guide. It's 13 pages. People always message me and say they would have paid for it. You know, this is, this is me building that trust that I talked about at the beginning. And, um, that's how you guys will always stay in touch with me. I also love to give a challenge, Jason, I think you're going to find this a little humorous. So I love to know how you guys are consuming this interview. Are you listening when you're working out, when you're walking your dog in the car? And if you're in the car, obviously I don't want you to do this, but um, watching it on your desktop and take a photo, a selfie of you smiling at the camera, or maybe it's just your device. I don't care, but I want you to use the hashtag Sue B made me do it. Sue B made me do it. And you will be curated in that hashtag hub with over a thousand other people that took the Sue B made me do it challenge because that's how I come over to you guys. That's how I see you. And I want you to at mention Sue B. Zimmerman, the, you know, at mention Sue B. Zimmerman, at mention the Instagram expert, and at mention Jason M. Silverman. He has an M like I have a B. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, at mention all of us because then we'll get a notification that you at mentioned us. But, but more importantly, hashtags are there forever. Notifications, you only see your like 75 notifications and you don't see them anymore. And this is why I miss some of my notifications because I'm not living on Instagram as much as you guys might think I am. I do work. So <laughs> Subi, <laughs> Subi made me do it is the podcast and you can be a part of my community. And here's the cool thing, you guys, you can connect with other like-minded entrepreneurs who are showing up in this hashtag hub. These are people that have heard me on interviews. This is perfect. All right, folks, yeah. you've got, you've, you've got marching orders. You've got marching <laughs> orders. All right. So one, one real quick final question is yes. if you could give business owners just one solid piece of advice to either help their business or more importantly, help them to live a better, more balanced life, what would that piece of advice be? So that piece of advice would be to stop paying attention to what everyone else is doing and focus more time on yourself. So that means unsubscribing from emails that just bring you down a rabbit hole or unfollowing Instagram accounts that just make you go crazy because you think they're doing what you want to be doing. And just really like, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk said this at inbound during keynote and it's, it's how I live every day being more self aware. And that means what are the things that make you happy and focus on you and focus on, on that. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Sue, thank you so much for joining me today. I know how, how busy your schedule is and you know, the fact that you shared some of your time and your wisdom with us means the world to me. So thank you. This has been fabulous.
Awesome. My pleasure. Great to connect with you, Jason. Absolutely. Folks, that's all the time we've got today. Thanks so much for tuning into The Real Deal with Jason Silverman. For more info about private coaching or see if you'd benefit from one of our mastermind groups, visit me over at www.jasonmsilverman.com. I look forward to helping you achieve the success that you truly deserve. Until next time, let me leave you with this. Get out there and be the real deal. Set a goal, make a plan, work like hell towards it, and achieve the success that's waiting for you. Now's the time. Get out there and make it happen. This has been Jason Silverman, and I hope you have a spectacular week. You've been listening to The Real Deal with Jason Silverman. To access the great resources mentioned in the show and for information on coaching and mastermind group opportunities with Jason, please visit jasonmsilverman.com.